well um, hello friends so um, yeah this will be a video on uh, mixed states versus pure state another important concept so uh, so a state uh, so let's uh, see intuitively what will it mean so i uh, think of the box that we had so so in the box i the an, an experimentalist will give us some states so uh, the, uh, so if one state is given uh, if one state psi is given then rho is uh, psi times psi right so intuitively it feels like well you have one state then that must be pure so we will see uh, something like that is in fact true so we will look at the proof of this a state rho is mixed if and only if trace of rho square is less than 1 and rho is pure if and only if trace of rho square is equal to 1 so let's see so proof so how to proceed so you see so a state rho is given it is given to us so what what i can do is uh, given the so given the definition by the definition of rho it is obvious that this has to be true where each of the i's are orthonormal bases and lambda i are non-negative eigenvalues real eigenvalues so this is true any rho so let's see what is rho square so rho square is summation over i comma j lambda i lambda j i i j j you see rho square is rho dot rho not dot it's rho times rho rho times rho but that the rho this rho is this one this rho is this one so uh, so th that is what i have written uh, they both i have i have expressed both of them in the same basis so let's look at this thing so you see here we have a delta ij so this the delta ij if i take into account the final state is So uh, the final state is this. So let me write it a bit more clearly. Clearly, so i lambda i square i i. So this is the final state. Now, uh, so this is the final. So now, uh, let us see. So uh, let's do the trace. So well, uh, you can just re uh, read off the trace. So you see, this is the orthonormal basis. So this entire thing is like a diagonal matrix where the squares of lambda is are the elements of diagonal matrix. So trace of rho square is equal to just summation over i lambda i square. I think that's clear. Now let's see. So what we know about this rho is that trace of rho whatever be the density matrix or density operator its trace must be equal to one that shows probability conservation so uh, probably uh, something cannot vanish suddenly in the universe so let's see so now what we must do is so this is trace of rho so yeah so reading from here what we see is that the trace this is again a, this is again kind of like the sum of diagonal entries so summation over i lambda i is equal to 1 this is what is given to us okay okay now uh, let us see so uh, so so let us see so uh, this is the sum I'm I'm going to square on both sides, so I will square on this side. So summation over i lambda i square is one. Okay. Uh, so uh, so the square of this will return me what? It will return me 
lambda is square plus I will get cross terms. I will just write it here. So these are cross terms of lambda I lambda j. So now you see observe this. So these cross terms every cross term is positive and as this is a summation this entire thing is a positive quantity strictly greater than 1 uh, so this is a positive uh, uh, sorry uh, strictly uh, greater than so this this quantity is greater than equal to 0 and this will only be 0 when there is only one i so so if this summation is over only uh, i equal uh, so there is only one basis vector then only this will be equal to zero because uh, so uh, so even if you have so think of lambda one plus lambda two uh, square so it is lambda one square lambda two square plus two lambda one lambda two okay so it is lambda 1 square lambda 2 square 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 so this quantity now as lambda 1 plus lambda 2 is equal to 1 so uh, this quantity can only be 0 if either lambda 1 is 0 or lambda 2 is 0 okay so uh, that is the motivation and if lambda 2 is 0 then lambda 1 has to be 1 because sum of lambda 1 plus lambda 2 has to be 1 so what we see is that what we see is that summation over i lambda i square which is equal to 1 minus ct uh, this this quantity so this is uh, this is less than equal to 1 uh, so this is less than equal to 1 with now now when will it be exactly equal to 1 when this quantity will be 0 so so and when will this quantity be 0 if only one of the lambdas survive so what we see uh, from here is that uh, so so let's see so summation over i lambda i square uh, is less than equal to 1 and uh, and if summation over i lambda i square is equal to 1 it implies uh, there it implies there exists only one i for which lambda i is non vanishing so lambda i uh, is equal to 0 for all i except 1 so let uh, let's uh, call it lambda so so now uh, what we what we see is that that means that uh, if if summation over i lambda i square is equal to 1 uh, it implies uh, there exists only one lambda so that implies rho is of the form of lambda uh, i i without the summation uh, so uh, and if if summation over i lambda i square is less than 1 it implies rho is summation over i lambda i i i such that there is at least one more lambda mm, such that uh, the, there exists at least one more lambda which is not equal to um, itself so there exist lambda j not equal to lambda i uh, uh, i not equal to j such that lambda i is uh, non-zero lambda j is non-zero well okay uh, so so this uh, so this really means so this uh, completes the proof here so what we see uh, so this is uh, trace equal to 1 so a trace of summation i lambda i square equal to 1 implies rho is this and this is rho is that so now you see this is the what i was saying about the pure state so you see 
in the box uh, this state means that i have only i state in a box we, uh, so well so and this lambda has to be equal to 1 because there is no summation and probability conservation or normalization will lead it to 1 but uh, look at this this state means uh, in a box uh, except i ex i have at least two state so that is the uh, that is what it means to be mixed state uh, or pure state